Buyouts could begin this week for neighbors of a growing sinkhole in Assumption Parish. This comes as more tremors rattled that area overnight and halted work near the sinkhole. Today, the governor met with representatives of Texas Brine, which operates the underground cavern, believed responsible for this sinkhole. He met with Assumption Parish leaders last week. Next week, the governor is supposed to go to Bayou Corn to see the sinkhole in person and meet with residents. It'll be his first inspection since that sinkhole developed last August. Texas Bride has been paying people forced out of their homes. More than 150 families had to evacuate. And News 2's Mike Steele live at the governor's mansion with more on this new buyout process. This could potentially be good news for many of those people in the uh, Bayou Corn area going through this ordeal. Governor Jindal says Texas Brine will begin the buyout or settlement process this week. Now, there were four main topics at the meeting today with Texas Brine. First, Jindal says Texas Brine will meet with a federal judge Friday, mainly to discuss evacuees who have joined a class action lawsuit. Second, appraisals for property owners who want buyouts will begin next week. Third, the governor says there will be constant monitoring of Highway 70 and a second nearby cavern to catch any potential problems. None have developed so far, but a blue ribbon commission will be formed with experts and uh, safety officials on it to help monitor that situation. And finally, the governor says he fully expects the state and Assumption Parish to be reimbursed for an emergency, he says, Texas Brian caused. Now, we asked the governor about the timing of today's meeting. We kept hearing settlements were and buyouts were coming and they were coming and they were coming. And when it finally became evident that uh, the company had missed several deadlines they communicated to us, we said enough's enough, and we've got to make sure this happens. The reality is we had, we had heard uh, in, in many conversations that these steps were going to be taken some time ago. We heard the bills were going to be paid. We heard they were going to uh, approve the monitoring. We heard they were going to approve buyouts. And, and just after a number of missed deadlines, we finally said enough's enough. They, they've got to make this right. They got, we've got families that have been dislocated. They're frustrated. So we were working. We've been working for months now behind the scenes with the company. We've gotten what we thought were commitments. And, and when those commitments, when we just had enough broken deadlines, we finally said that we're just going to have to force our hand. So again, that concerns the buyouts and settlements for the property owners, about 350 people total with those uh, families. And uh, again, the governor says that the state and the parish are owed several uh, million dollars combined. So he fully expects reimbursement on that as also. We'll have more on this developing story coming up tonight on News 2 at 6. Reporting live, Mike Steele, WBRZ, Balance News. All right, Mike, thanks for that. Now, the St. Cole is being watched closely by some people in Iberia Parish. The state issued one of three state permits to expand an underground natural gas storage operation in the Salt Dome under Lake Pinier. Nearly 30 years ago, a man-made accident punctured a salt dome and the lake emptied into it. Neighbors are concerned about a sinkhole like the one in Assumption Park. Huge one for the people living around the sinkhole. The governor will be in town and Texas Prime will begin the process of buying their property so many of them can move on with their lives. The governor and local officials met and just wrapped up a few moments ago. The Texas Brine president was also in that meeting. Governor Jindal pushed that they make this right sooner than later. Governor Jindal says Texas Brine will have appraisers on site Monday to begin a buyout process for those interested. Texas Pride is facing millions and millions of costs and, well, plenty of unpaid bills at this point. Quite frankly, it doesn't matter to me whether it comes from them, their parent, uh, their owners, or, or, or their insurance uh, carrier. At the end of the day, they caused the situation. they got to make it right. The governor will also travel to Assumption Parish and meet with those affected. He says Texas Brian promises to get the ball rolling. Meanwhile, shaking houses in the area there have some people nervous. According to officials, seismic activity called spasmodic bursts were reported from the site of the nine-anchor sinkhole overnight. Spasmodic bursts are basically a whole bunch of rapid-fire mini earthquakes. More than 90 mini earthquakes happened around 1.30 a.m. Some lasted a few minutes while others lasted longer. You remember tremors have been reported in that area as far back as last May.